So solve natin tong problem. In rolling two dice, what is the probability of getting A sum of 4, B both even numbers, C sum of at least 10? Okay, so meron tayong probability problem. So basically, let's start with the formula for getting the probability of any event. So let's say we can denote the probability of event E as P of E. It is equal to the number of element of that event E over the number of sample space. So yung number ng sample space natin dito is yung total number of elements dito sa event of rolling two dice. And then yung numerator natin is yung number of element ng mga specific conditions sa questions from A to C. So if we start with the letter A, we have the sum of 4. Now let's say we denote this event of having a sum of 4 as F. So therefore, we need to find the probability of F which is equal to the number of elements of event F over the number of sample space. So magsimula tayo sa paghanap ng sample space. So, pwede natin i-apply dito yung fundamental principle of counting. So, by fundamental principle of counting, pwede natin mahanap yung number of sample space ng rolling two dice. Since we have two dice, right, we can have how many outcomes for the first die. Since a die is numbered from 1 to 6, you can expect 6 outcomes. Times, the number of outcomes for the second die also will be 6. So, if we multiply 6 times 6, it is 36. So in this type of problem, although we know na yung total number of sample space is 36, pwede din natin i-list yung mga possible outcomes ng sample space. So pwede natin gawin is mag-draw tayo ng column at pangalanan natin ng numbers from 1 to 6. Ito yung mga numbers sa die and then mag-draw din tayo ng rows na from 1 to 6. So, para malis natin yung sample space, pwede nyong ilista yung intersection ng bawat row at column. Let's say sa intersection ng first row at first column, we have the coordinate 1, 1. And for the intersection of the first row and second column, we have 1, 2. For the first and third, we have 1, 3. First and fourth, 1, 4. First and five, 1, 5. First and six, 1, 6. So, doing the same pattern, ito yung magiging complete list of sample space natin. So, kung bibilangin natin, we have a total of 6 by 6 or 6 times 6, 36. So, ang next step is hanapin natin yung number of elements ng event F which we denote as the sum of 4. So, pwede nyo nalang hanapin dito sa list of sample space natin yung combination ng numbers na magiging sum is 4. So, pag chinek natin, we can have this 3, 1, 2, 2, and 1, 3. Because, pag in natin yung 3 plus 1, 4, 2 plus 2, 4, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So, we have a total of 3 elements in the event F. So, therefore, the probability will be number of element of F is 3 over the number of sample space, which is 36. So, simplifying this fraction, it is equal to 1 over 12. Next, let's have B, probability of both even numbers. So, let's say pwede tayo mag-denote ng event, let's say B, for both even numbers. The probability of event B will be number of element of event B over number of sample space. So, for the number of sample space, fix lang din uli na 36. And then, for the number of elements para sa event B, Pero natin i-check yung sample space natin. Hanapin natin yung mga combination na parehong even numbers. So let's start with column 1. So for the column 1, hindi tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng both even numbers kasi automatic yung second element natin is laging 1. Okay? Next, for the column 2, piliin lang natin yung mga elements na merong both even numbers. So pwedeng 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 2. Next, for the third row, hindi tayo pwedeng magkaroon ng even numbers dahil yung mga second element is puro add. For the fourth row, piliin naman natin yung both even numbers. We have 2, 4, 4, 4, and 6, 4. For the fifth column, hindi rin pwede dahil yung second coordinates is puro add. 
Next, for the sixth column, hanapin natin yung both even. We have 2 comma 6, 4 comma 6, and 6 comma 6. So we have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So therefore, the number of element for B is 9, and that will be the numerator of the probability. So reducing 9 over 36 into simplest form, it is 1 fourth. Next, let's have for C, sum of at least 10. Again, we can denote another letter for event C, let's say by uh, T, which is sum of at least 10. 10. And the probability for event T will be number of element of event T over number of sample space. So again, yung number of sample space is fixed equal to 36. And then hanapin natin yung mga elements nung event T which is sum of at least 10. So since at least 10 yung hinahanap, pwede tayo magkaroon ng sum ng 10, sum of 11, and sum of 12. So yung 12 yung pinakamataas na pwedeng maging sum kasi Kapag parehong 6 yung lumabas sa dalawang dice, yun yung pinakamataas na sum which is 12. So, hanapin natin dito sa sample space yung magkakaroon ng sum ng 10, 11, at 12. So, let's start with sum of 10. So, we can have 6, 4, 5, 5, 4, 6. And then, for the sum of 11, we can have 6, 5, and 5, 6. Finally, for the sum of 12, we have 6, 6. So, kapag binilang natin, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total of 6 elements for the number of elements of event T. So, therefore, the numerator will be 6. So, the probability is 6 over 36 or in lowest term, it's 1 sixth. Okay, it's your turn. So, try nyo namang sagutan yung problem na to and just comment your answer.